Oh my goodness. Ah, this is amazing. Got at an estate sale, paid $10 took an offer of $2,100 plus shipping, $7 at the Goodwill Benz, and took a best offer of $650 and sold overnight. Can you believe they had an estate sale and nobody bought it? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. It is time for Share Your Best March Bolo. So these are gonna be some big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a big profit. In this video, I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and it says, Share Your Best March Bolo. In the comments, my Bolo Buddies Facebook members and my Bolo Buddies YouTube members shared their best Bolo. It is free to share. Anybody can share. But if you want to get a mention or a shout out and your links down in the description of the video, you can join Bolo Buddies memberships for perks at level two. Not required. Just something you can do if you want to like grow your channel or get eyes on your eBay store. The channel is completely free. So let's get started with these big money bolos and some of these are going to knock your socks off. All right, the first one here, it says purchased at the Goodwill for $1.99, sold it on Mercari for $81. It's a Betsy Johnson Rose All Day Bottle Kits, ah, kitschy, kitschy. Wristlet bag purse, rare and retired. And this is what it looks like. That word always gets me. I'm starting to use it in my listings though. And I'll tell you what, it does help. Uh, thought this would be a, too big to sell because of shipping. Got it free from an auction house when I picked up my winnings and didn't want to list it. Sold within two weeks when offer was sent for 105 plus shipping. Goes to show won't sell if you don't list it. It is a Melissa and Doug jumbo, lifelike, lovable polar bear. Super cute. Yeah, I know what you're saying. There was this one time I had a monkey and um, it was massive. It was so huge. It was so cool. I actually kept it for a while. It was so cool. I have some pictures with it, but I did not want to ship that thing. And um, I ended up making big bucks on that monkey. It was so cool. I picked it up at a garage sale. And it's like just one of those things that he was just so cool sitting on my couch. But he like was like three people sitting on the couch. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Love that thing. But I'm hoping it found a really good home. And I, I did box that one for sure. Can't remember what it sold for. It's one of my in one of my videos a long, long time ago. And I think over on my Instagram, if you scroll way, way down, there's a picture of it either on my couch or me holding it. So um, it was massive. I bought this GI Joe about two years ago in an auction lot. I paid 50 cents for it. I listed it a few days ago, sold the same day for $75, best offer. It's a vintage 1975 GI Joe lifelike muscle body adventure team hasbro for parts only and you can see this is an incomplete toy it doesn't matter they will still sell replacement parts i paid two dollars at a church sale this past saturday listed it sunday evening it is faded and has some issues in the lacy collar and it sold overnight on ebay for full asking price again something with issues selling fast and for good money. I would never have picked it up if I hadn't seen people posting about them in this group. A big collective hug to you all. It is a vintage Fisher Price Puffalump Bunny Rabbit with rattle. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, Puffalump, grab them. Even if they have stains and marks, they will sell. This one comes from the Kit Kitsy Canson. And that is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. She said, my friend and her mom went dumpster diving at an estate sale and pulled out several pieces of vintage clothing, which they gave to me for free. 
I listed this outfit for 250 and accepted a best offer of 200. Four months later, it is headed to Germany. It is a vintage elegant red wool cape with genuine black fox fur trim. It was in the trash. So the estate sale must have been over. They must have, must have like put the stuff out by the trash and they basically grabbed it and it sold for $200. A $200 bolo sitting by the trash. But it looks like it might've been a dumpster trash can. But either way, I mean, if they threw it away, they threw it away, right? Shame, shame. Can you believe they had an estate sale and nobody bought it? Bought seven of these uh, Frankis. Franciscan, Franciscan, Atomic Starburst dinner plates on Facebook Marketplace for $15. Some had chips, so I put together a set of four that were in the best condition and auctioned them. Took a couple of weeks, but they sold with one bid and it was paid for last night. Buyer paid $69.60 plus shipping, all in for $203.66. Whoa. Whoa, must be going internationally, maybe? That seems like a really high shipping. Huh, I don't know. But um, this is what they look like. These Starburst plates, plates are definitely a bolo. Thanks to Courtney, her YouTube channel, Bolo Buddies, and this group, I have my first bolo to share. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so glad that something I talked about found you a bolo. So let's see what it is. I found two vintage 1980s sticker albums. Albums were loaded with Michael Jackson, Cabbage Patch, Hello Kitty, Snoopy, The Police, plus so many more. I probably could have separated it out and made a bit more, but honestly, I didn't have the time. I spent $8 at one of my local thrift stores, listed as a seven-day auction with activity every day. Buyer is all in at $165 plus shipping and taxes. Thank you, Courtney. So thankful for all the information you are so willing to share. Oh, thank you so much for the shout out. I appreciate it. And this is what it looks like. That's awesome. Bought at an estate sale for 50 cents. Took a best offer of $50. Let's try that again. Took a best offer of 54 after about a month. It is a Hallmark Baby's First Christmas 1979 stocking ornament original box vintage. There it is. Do ornaments with dates sell? Yes. Can they sell for big money? Yes. Do I pick them up? Absolutely. Um, definitely a great bolo. A lot of them are bread and butter, but there are a lot that sell for a lot of money. I found this book when I was leaving my local thrift store. It just caught my eye, so I grabbed it without looking it up. The Great Book of Corgi. I paid $2 and took an offer of $75, sold in three days. And this is what it looks like. Picked up this pair of vintage Jenna Glass Scott Mains Karina Peacock Serving Bowls. And I may have totally said all of that wrong from a free pile and sold them in less than 24 hours for $124 plus shipping on Mercari. Uh, listed for $139 plus shipping and took a best offer. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, I highly recommend it. I love Mercari. Um, I do have a link down below. If you join with that referral link, you're going to get $10 to shop when you join and you're going to get another $20 to shop once you sell um, $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 of free money to shop on Mercari. And you know what I like to do on Mercari? I like to source. So a lot of times people will sell things in big lots. You can buy those lots and then you can resell them. Or you just might want to buy something for personal use. That works also. But uh, my Poshmark and Mercari referral links are down below if you guys want to check those out. Found this gorgeous signed Mad Art Studios vase for $8.99 at my local thrift shop. Asked $150 and accepted a best offer the very next day for $120 on eBay. And this is what the vase looks like. All right, this next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Mindful Recycle. And she is a moderator of this Facebook group. So go over to her YouTube channel, Mindful Recycle, 
and leave her a comment under one of her videos that says, thank you for being a moderator. Bolo Buddies sent me. And let me tell you, after you watch her video, you are going to subscribe. You're going to turn on that bell and you are going to watch every single one of her videos because she is one of the biggest Bolo finders I know. She is incredible. So let's see what she found here. Purchased a small box of vintage fountain pens at an estate sale for a dollar. Listed two already. Sold the first one for $350. This one has been listed for about two months and paid 10 cents for it. Sold for $349.95, or I'm sorry, 97 cents plus shipping. I'm telling you, incredible. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. <gasps> Legos. You know, my husband has said to me, do you think we should buy Legos and just like store them for our retirement? And I'm like, no, I don't think we should do that. <laughs> but now I'm looking at this and I'm like, yes, maybe we should do that. Are you ready for this? This is crazy. And what's even crazier is what she paid for it. Got at an estate sale, paid $10.00 took an offer of $2,100 plus shipping. Oh, can you believe it? This is my highest return on investment sale in years. I should say so. That is incredible. New sealed Lego set, decades old. It says Lego set 6067. It is the Lion Knight guarded in Legoland castle system, vintage and sealed. That is incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that. This is what it looks like, you guys. It looks like the box is in pretty good condition. And um, wow, $10 into $2,100. What a nice find. I've had a few good sales this month. Paid seven for this at the Goodwill bins. What, um, let's see. Wasn't sure what it was at first, but knew it was coming home with me. Listed for seven hundred dollars and nine, or I'm sorry, seven hundred and ninety-five dollars, and sold overnight for a best offer of six hundred and fifty. Seven dollars at the Goodwill bins, and took a best offer of six hundred and fifty, and sold overnight. Can you believe these bolos? I told you I was going to knock your socks off. Let's see what it is. Antique Edward Massey. Harpoon Taffrail 21 inch improved ship log nautical brass. Um, it's a really small photo. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I still have no idea what it is, even after I just read that to you. But it is a big money bolo, and I hope that somebody learned from that and can find it because I don't know if I would know what that was if I saw it. But anyway, big money bolo from the bins. Ah! Okay. Oh, here's another big one. Paid 11 each for two of these 30 inch carved Chinese panels at the local Goodwill. They were on the bottom shelf with other wall hanging decor. I figured they were plastic when I first saw them, but they are solid wood. Took a best offer of 350 for this one after being listed for a week and a half. A week and a half. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Impressive 30-inch antique Chinese gilt carved wood panel figures, warriors, and horses. Look how beautiful that is. All right, let's see what this says. Took a day trip to some antique shops in Northeast Connecticut. Spotted a cast iron gooseneck lamp that had the shade on it for $24. They were supposed to be together, and I knew the shade was good took it off and listed it for 250, took an offer 145 the next day, haven't listed the lamp yet. So basically he's parting it out and this is what it looks like. Antique art glass shade square iridescent and that's all it said in the title. So just very, very basic. Bought on the same day as the lamp shade at another antique shop. This is an odd fellows like Freemason peep hole cover. Paid $24 and sold overnight for $240. Wow. Um, yeah, that's that's great. Antique plaque, old fellows, fraternal FTL, peephole cover, um, architectural brass. And this is what it looks like. Those were some great bolos. And those last four were from the same person. So I'm going to say that that guy is a bolo finder for sure. 
I bought a box full of decks of old playing cards at an estate sale a few weeks ago. The cost per deck of cards came to about $1.50 each. I took a best offer of 50 each for two decks of cards from the Palm Beach Bath and Tennis Club, and I still have more to go. So this is what it looks like. It's their playing cards. It is sealed, but it's vintage advertising. So you're not only selling the playing cards, but you're selling this to the person who has some connection to the Palm Beach and Tennis Club. Bought this Disney Store 2015 classic production Maria mug for $5 at the Goodwill on a whim and sold it with an hour of listing. Ah! Apparently this line is super rare and highly collectible. Funny thing is I nearly put it back at first, but glad I grabbed it. Rare Disney Store 2015 Disney classic production Marie mug, $52 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm going to say if it sold within an hour, it was probably underpriced. Um, but still, you know, she paid five bucks for it into 52. That's a great profit. Um, and somebody was probably really happy to get a good deal. Or maybe she had it priced just right. I found these biblical commentaries at my local thrift store, My Honey Hole. All the books were priced six for a dollar. I bought this set for less than $1.50 and sold within three weeks for a best offer of $88 plus shipping. It would have sold for much more had I had the complete set. It is a Beacon Bible Commentary set of eight volumes, 1965 to 1969 hardcover dust jacket. This is what it looks like. My husband and I went to this incredible estate sale. I am pretty sure there were, they were hoarders. I had never seen a house so full. My husband started picking up Susan Bristol sweaters priced at $2.50. He bought eight. We sold the first one within a couple days for a best offer of 35. The others have many views and several watchers already. Looking forward to selling them all. They are each so unique. So this is what it looks like. It's vintage 1992. Um, she said, so far we have sold three in less than a week. These are definitely a bolo. So if it were me, I would be pricing that probably at over $100 just because it's such a unique print and I would be patient and wait on the right buyer. Um, these are hard to find sweaters in good condition uh, like this and I would price them high. That is me personally. Now, $2.50 into $35 is a great profit, but personally, I have not done any research, but anything that has this all over print that is hard to find, definitely price those things high. And that is just a Bolo Buddies opinion, and I like to price things high, so... Found this at an estate sale for $3 along with another one I have listed. Sold in less than a week for full asking price. Vintage Orvis Fly Wallet Pouch USA Tan Black 10-inch Outdoor Fishing. $114.99. This is what it looks like here. Nice little bolo. Purchased at a charity thrift shop for $4. I actually bought two. One sold on Etsy with my 10% off coupon for $134. Took six months to sell, but I let it sit. The description is very tiny. I apologize. All right, she knows I'm going to have to like lean in. Uh, Sears Twin Blanket Colorful Heart Satin Trim 100% Acrylic 80s USA Hard to Find. HTF is hard to find. And actually, it wasn't that tiny. It wasn't too bad. This is what it looks like right here. And this one comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. And this is her eBay store. All right, we're going to do one more here. And this was a good one. Found it in a state sale in late September that had hundreds of plush. I paid about $1.65 and sold it for $159. Had much help from others that helped me. Thanks. And had turned down four offers under $125. Longtime reseller. Finding this new to me niche. Thanks, Courtney, for being encouraging. I have no store yet, but hope to soon. Um, it is a Jag J8. AG plush stuffed Timberwolf dog coyote line pose. And this is what it looks like. And again, realistic plush. Definitely be on the lookout for these. I did a whole video about this. Um, some of them go for crazy money. She did really great on this. Um, $159 plus shipping. So awesome. 
All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. If you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely go join. Um, if you join, please um, be nice. That's the number one rule. And if you have a problem with somebody not being nice, please report it. You can do that by, if you're on your phone, holding down on the comment and clicking report. And if you're on a laptop or a desktop, there's three dots by the comment and you can report that way. Um, it's me and several moderators, but we are not on Facebook all day. So if you guys are scrolling and you see something, that really helps us out because it goes to a special section that alerts us that there's an issue and then we can take care of the problem. We can either delete the comment, remove the person and they can't come back to the group. It just really depends on the violation and what they did. But please report those items. That really helps us tremendously. We try to keep it a safe, fun environment, but I'm telling you, there's always people that come in with negativity and meanness and I don't want to tolerate that. But um, again, I'm not on Facebook all day, so I apologize, but <laughs> I, I can't even keep up with what I'm doing. Um, I do have it set up that I approve all of the posts and I have one other person that helps me do that. So we try to do that two or three times a day. So if your post sits a little bit, I apologize. I just get to it when I can. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know which one of those bolos knocked your socks off. I did mention some YouTube channels, some eBay stores. Again, those are linked down below. Go subscribe and follow those eBay stores. They are all fantastic. And if you want to join memberships, awesome. And if you don't, awesome. I don't care either way. Those memberships are there for you guys so that you can get the perks. Level two will get you in this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.